Welcome to me, Mama's channel. We're gonna fix my closet and then on. Okay, so here's the current situation. All of his clothes is on the top. And then I have these two baskets here, which I think I can move that towel basket out because it has nothing to do with his stuff. And then we have a toy basket there. And this is where the disaster begins. So he has all of this stuff just crammed in there. And I organized it before, but um, since he's been here uh, more this summer, he just has built up more stuff. And so, I think what I want to do is because I'm teaching him how to do his laundry and put it away, I want to move his clothes from that bar up there to this bar down here. And then um, I want to move that three drawer little cabinet up to the top where this, where I'm going to take out this basket. Either I'm going to take out the basket or just take the towels out and reuse it for whatever we need. So, yeah, um, since he's been here this summer, definitely want to get a little bit more organized and, um, you know, want him to develop some organizational skills. And like I said, hanging up his laundry and stuff has been, uh, you know, a halfway thing because I've had to hang it up since the bar's so high so I want him to be able to start grouping things together like his shorts and his pants and his tops and stuff like that so this will be a good learning experience for him. Okay so we went ahead and bought this little container that we're going to use to start getting this closet organized so you ready? Of course and we got my gun. Look. Ready? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so we got all the bottom stuff out. As you can see, we have quite a mess here. What we did with this one before was we put like all the cars in one and all his books in one, but just over time it's gotten disorganized so um i think what we're gonna do first is we're gonna move okay. the clothes we get all these stuff up we're gonna move the clothes down so my grandbaby's and a youtuber in the making <laughs> hi okay let's get started hi. okay so what i did here was i went ahead and did like the dress shorts, the active shorts, tank tops, short sleeves, long sleeves, sweaters, and then any jackets or coats or anything that he has here. We cleared out a couple of things, not too many things. I had recently cleaned out his closet, so everything in here should fit him. And then we actually found some pajamas too that will need to go to the drawer area so Anthony is getting all the guns together he's putting all the cars and trucks together he's putting all the stuffed animals in that bag over there and this so, is for my thingy yeah okay so this is how it's gone so far we have all his clothes on the right hand side we have this bigger basket over here where that has the bigger toys that I couldn't really fit anywhere else. Um, I put these two bins up here and of course he knows that he cannot get this stuff down without asking us. And then I have his stuffed toys up there which he doesn't have that many. It's puzzles and then in that white basket just miscellaneous toys and stuff. So. Now I'm going to label the cart boxes, the drawers. Okay, so 
so as you can see I labeled that white basket miscellaneous his puzzles all of the puzzles that he had we put in that box and then I labeled all of the drawers so just so you can kind of get an idea put his electronics in some all of his trucks and motorcycles he had a theme of something which mainly he just had Paw Patrol I labeled that um, I labeled his um, books and crayons and where he put his Nerf guns. I did uh, go ahead and label the stuff on the bottom. I just put larger toys on the basket. And then also here on this bag so that I don't have to pull it out every time I'm wondering what's in it. I put small stuffed animals or stuffed small animals. <laughs> So, um, yeah, this is what it turned out like. Whew. Such a small little closet, but it required a lot of organization. And like I said, if you put toys on top for kids, make sure that they know that they cannot access them unless an adult helps them. So we don't want that falling on him. Obviously, that's a big precaution. Um, so he understands that he cannot get in there unless he asks us, and he's really good about asking us. Thank you. Subscribe, like for Mama's channel, like for let me check it. Happy toys, uh, toys, books. What is it, Mama? Plastic toys. Plastic toys. Electronics. Electronics. Guns. Yeah. And you know not to get in there unless somebody helps you, right? Mm -hmm. Boom. Thank you for watching Prescribe for Mama's um, video. We need to Jesus. Get thumbs up and get my, get to my video. You want to see karate. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye.